Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, this is Paul again with the Red Sea Reefer 250 build and thank you for uh, checking out my video here. But this is uh, going to be on this carbon doser that I just received in the mail and uh, I really like this product. I've used it in the past and it's pretty consistent and it's, it, it has never failed me. So uh, this time around I'm going to go with the same carbon doser again and um, I'm going to probably pair it with a Skims reactor, which is one of the ones that I found that would fit in my compartment. So the carbon doser is actually um, pretty basic when you think about it. And it's, uh, it's just an electronic solenoid field, uh, uh, an electronic solenoid valve, and uh, it's triggered by setting the um, dial here so you could set it uh, it looks like seconds per bubble so if you set it to one you'll get you know a bubble every second so um, it's pretty standard this is what it comes with you know it comes with the tubing for uh, your uh, co2 uh, it comes with the whole gauge this is uh, the one-way valve that you would connect um, with your line uh, power supply of course, pretty standard, uh, and then the actual valve itself and to my surprise, normally when you order this thing, it would come with a standard just bar fitting valve uh, or bar fitting vacuum connector at the bottom here. Uh, this one here actually has a John Guest connector and typically this would run an additional $20 I believe on the website but anyhow yeah this is a great great piece of equipment for uh, regulating um, and dosing your carbon to the uh, carbon reactor um, so this is a highly recommended product um, if you need or would like to get one you can check uh, on my link below for a uh, carbon doser and it's by far the cheapest around uh, but yeah that's um, Gonna be paired up with the gas tank that I have here. This is a 20 pound carbon dioxide gas tank here. Um, I just weighed it earlier and it weighs about 43 and a half pounds, so it's still pretty much full. Uh, on the label here, it says uh, 20 pounds in weight, and the aluminum can or container itself is about 24 pounds. So. Um, I weighed it yesterday, it was 43 and a half, so it's used a bit, but uh, it's actually still pretty full. So I'm going to go ahead and get this connected, get it set up. Uh, I know that my tank is not even up and running yet. I am still in the process of making sure it doesn't leak, so it's running in the garage. Um, and then I still am waiting for some other parts to come in before I can totally get it set up. But before I do that, I also still need to set up my RODI system, which has just been laying around. So um, it's going to be some time before it is set up, but um, hopefully when it all comes together, um, it'll be well worth the wait. Again, uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask below. Uh, if you want to follow this build, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you like this video. Thank you for joining in. Thanks. Bye.